All right, let's take a look at a few really cool features that are available to you when you're editing cues in Blind on the EOS. So we'll go into Blind. And of course, the first thing we want to remind you is that when you make changes in Blind, those changes are automatically saved in that queue. And now let's look at a couple of ways to help you manage move instructions. And there are two commands that we want to focus on here. The first one is a make null command. And in any queue in Blind, if I just want to make that channel not play back, I can do a make null, and that is by choosing the channel. And then I have a make null soft key, in this case maybe channel one, make null, enter, and our channel indicator in Blind will tell us that it is null with a little n, and the value will gray out. Now that move instruction is ignored when you play back that cue, so that is make null. To undo that, I just repeat the command, one, make null, enter, and the move instruction is back in. Another way I can manage my move instructions is by using the at enter command. And what at enter will do is remove the move instruction and allow a value to track in. And for this example, I want to look at channel 10. And we can see this in, in our series in queues, we are at full in Q1, and then in Q2, it goes to 11. And what I'd like to do is have it also go to 11 in Q4, so I can, I want that value to track all the way in. So what I can do is in Q number four, channel 10, add enter. And we can see that it just removed the move instruction to go to zero and allowed the 11 to track through. Another command we want to look at is the recall from live. If I am in blind and I'm looking out at my stage and I say, you know, that looks really good what I've got going on in live, I'd like to take some of those channels and bring them into this queue. What I can do is first specify the channels. Maybe in this case I like what my LED wall is doing, so I can say LEDs. And now I can use the recall from key and my soft key says live, enter, and I have now simply grabbed what was playing live and brought it into this queue in blind. So that's using recall from live, also a very nice time saving feature. There's another command we want to look at in Spreadsheet, and that is called Replace Level. So I'm going to format into Spreadsheet. And this allows us to select a range of cues and a range of channels, hunt for a level, and replace that level with something else. So in this case, I want to look at cues 1 through 5. And maybe my channels 1 through 10, wherever they were at 80, I want to replace with, which is a soft key, 75. The console will find all of the instances where those channels met that criteria and make the change for me and update those move instructions. And lastly, I want to talk to you about making some edits to multiple cues at once. And for this example, we're going to make some minor timing changes. So I'm looking at my cue list, and maybe in cues 6 through 9, I would like to increment the color timing by one second. I want to make them all one second longer. So I can say, cues 6 through 9, hit my color soft key, time plus 1 second, and it will automatically increment just by 1 second. I could also subtract 1 second using the minus key, and that would be doing range edits on multiple cues simultaneously. So those are some tools available to you when you are editing cues in blind on the EOS.